There he is, our little guy. There he is, our little guy. Isn't he cute? Today we'll take a look at the original Cheeto. Still haven't got the universe um, classics new Cheeto. And I will probably get him. Mm, and we'll get him probably cheap because nobody wants him for some reason. Hmm. Wonder why. This is the 10th anniversary Cheeto. So a bit better looking. I will not show you the box because I guess everyone by now has seen it. Here he is in his cheetah mode. Oh, well, the hind legs are stupid. The front legs will not move much. Maybe like this, but oh, no, the panels get in the way. There is a tiny bit of movement, but yeah. Not the best articulation in beast mode. The hind legs can do quite a bit, but it's all nonsensical. Uh, I don't think there's much room for giving his bio here. Most of people know him by now. He's the typical yellow fellow of Transformers. We get these in most of the lines. The young, brash, hot-headed guy who tries to impress everyone, especially Prime of the series. Mm, I didn't really like him much. I liked him much more in the Beast Machines. Because the growing up process was shown there in a very, very nice way. I know I abused very nice in my reviews and I know my hands come across as ugh, nasty but I do some physical work as well so plus have no time to do anything with my hands wow crazy so cheetah mode just a display piece he will stand and that's all we can expect from him but really do we need much more some articulation would be nice as well as removing of this logo which doesn't make sense in the beast mode his face nice quite show accurate this isn't show accurate at all but nothing we can really do here so let's get on to the transformation we'll rip his ass off then we'll pull his tits out brutal transformation I prefer doing the legs first so we'll Will we turn it now? Let's leave it like this. We'll turn at the hips for sure and reveal his tiny little robot toes, which are pretty cool and make the legs look robotic. Then we'll take the cheetah hands. Yes, you can already see we've done something bad here. Okay, much better. Take the cheetah uh -huh, and you can't see shit already. Oh, pardon my French. We'll take the cheetah four legs, I guess. Then we will loosen all these panels. Take this piece down, which will form tiny little dress thingy. Wrong again, right? Oh my god, this is falling apart fast. Then the arms will come out. this the head I like this piece of transformation it's quite unique quite interesting and yeah oh my god such a simple toy giving me so much trouble here he is in his robot mode and to fully appreciate it we must look at him from more top view. Yes, the chest sticks out incredibly. We can fold it in a bit more. Sometimes it's shown like this, but then there's this huge gap here, which isn't nice at all. So I prefer keeping it like this, despite the stupidity of it all. His head his head is quite 
quite impressive, I must say. Green eyes and everything. He's got this silly mutant mask. It makes him look more like an insect than a mammal or, or anything, actually. But here, now we get some possibility out of this little guy. Oh, yes. Accidental feet articulation. The arms will do anything you want. Which is so much... Oh, around 100% more than the new version of him. Now let's get to his accessories. <coughs> the tail and arse part will split like this. And this is a gun, believe it or not. This is a gun. Mm. Bit of detailing here. And his chest piece, cheetah chest, will turn into water squirting gun. I do not understand these details, but they are here for us to enjoy. <sighs> Most people do not show the water squirting guns, but they are there for a reason to squirt water. So why not? Let's have a go. Ah, don't think you even saw that one. Great, amazing, simply amazing. Okay. Now let's arm a yellow fella with his strange guns, but that's what we are used to in the Beast Wars, in the original Beast Wars line. Strange guns formed from pieces of animals. And here is 10th anniversary cheetah. Thank you very much. Bye for now.